Hello, this is Paul and it's a reasonable day where I am, so I thought I'd just step outside and share with you one of my poems. This one's called Those Who Wait and I hope you like it. The way we think, the way we do, the things we thought we always knew aren't carved in stone or set in glue because free will is yours and it can't be taken from you. Right now I see all the fruits are ripe for taking. I see the future history is ripe for making. And I will see what once seemed strong is now clearly breaking because all your potential is now clearly waking. I see common themes, often problem and confusion, so the profiteers can pitch their corporate solution. And whilst the darkest hearts snarl for retribution, braver souls call for peaceful revolution. But I see that deep inside you're full of life. Your mind is sharper than a knife. Your soul it shines the brightest light and your third eye sees what's hidden from sight. That's right. I see mistakes have been made and that much is clear. And I see the scars of the past, they won't all disappear. That's possibly why these cuts keep drawing near and ever growing is this ugly culture of fear. But I see there's been a shift of higher power, and we may well have passed that 11th hour. And whilst the greatest beasts to the smallest flower no longer divide and cower, now unite and tower. But you know, this isn't just some stuff I'm stating for the sake of some sort of popularity rating. This is you and what you're creating. Is what I'm saying resonating? And whilst the powers that were are evaporating, isn't this the time for celebrating instead of sitting around and arguing and debating all the things you find so frustrating? And if the answer is yes, can we leave behind this troublesome time of solely watching and of waiting?